Welcome to Disney Land and me, let's pack a book or two poem or Disneyland on today's show. I'm so excited. We're talking about Frozen and Musical Invitation. Uh, open on November 17, 2019. Uh, located in uh, Toon Studio. Be prepared to unleash the magic that lies within you on an enchanting Frozen journey that takes you to Kristoff's farm. On the way you'll join Sven and Kristoff a rendition of a classic reindeer tribute. Master R's magical dance moves in time to surprise Elsa in her ice palace during a joyful rendition of Let It Go. There's even the chance to see Olaf in this heartwarming adventure for the whole family. You have just been so excited about this. Well, I still to this day thank my lucky stars that I was able to be there for the opening weekend. That was just, just, it was just, and what did it feel like being there for opening weekend? Because this is something you've, we've, you've never done before. I know, in all the years I've been surprised, I've never really been in the parks during the opening week of, the, of an attraction. Right, it's, no, um, I still can't believe it. That was the case, um, and given obviously what we what we've been through throughout 2020 and 2021, yeah, one the course of the time, I had no idea that was going to happen. Um, I'm still so thankful that I got the opportunity to actually see the show because it was absolutely amazing. I've loved it. Although there's a small part of me that's a little bit envious of all those people who got to do a selfie spot. I know. Because of that span. That span! Alright, it's probably actually good for Spen's safety that you weren't able to go <laughs> during the selfie spot here because you would be running up trying to hug him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to deny. I love that span. Oh my god. Absolutely stunning. But yeah. Um, so yeah, so it, it, it just felt so. Felt a bit exciting and special to be up to you know, to be a part of history. You know, you, you're going to be one of those guests that was there for the first day and did the first day. You kind of feel like I was being part of history, which is something I don't, which is something you're not really going to get to experience that much. It was just such many, and of course, my love for Frozen and everything. It was just, I think, if, if there was ever going to be a time where I had an opportunity to be there for the attraction that opened up. It's opening day. It had to be a frozen attraction. Absolutely, it had to be. I'm just so thankful for it. Um, although when you go in, I will go. To get, we'll get straight to it. When you go in, because obviously it's it's the Arm Animation Building, but now renamed to Animation Celebration. Um, and when you go in, it's still got. The bits from Unmake Heart of Animation. I know, because you told me about it. And I thought, really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the show building, so um, show, uh, they're, they've been redesigned and everything okay, uh, to fit, obviously, the purpose of the show. Um, but the pre entrance and the exit are still set up, how it was, but our animation sort of stuff, and animation's still there. And I just, it just made me feel, well, this, this might not be permanent. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know what it's, and I want it to be a permanent thing. Yeah, because you could argue this could be seen as a taster um, to get the hype up for Frozen Land. But I do agree, I think it should be a permanent thing. I know, we, well, in the very first edition of the film bid, um, Mickey and I, we, just, we debated about what we think this attraction's future could be and how it could fit into Frozen Land. So you want to go check out that studio. It's our very first ever opinion page we did. Um, yeah, cause I totally see this as the future. And I think it should be a permanent attraction. But because of how the setup of our age body is, it's still got the free entrance bit and the exit as it was. I just think like this might not be permanent. Yeah, but uh, that's a shame. So the pre entrance building, it's uh, Well, basically the pre entrance building, you basically get a little little um the plasma is still there and it's still used and what it does is it acts as 
the safety video announcement, which of course one nobody ever really pays attention to. <laughs> the guys, um, but before it got to the safety video announcement, it did like a show reel of the, of the first. What? Yeah. So basically, it took all the best bits of, of the first film and just did like a like a little five minute show reel. So it was amazing. So you got to just be refreshed of all what happened in Frozen before beforehand. So it was lovely. And then again, I was obviously going to the safety video, and as I'm watching, you're thinking, okay, chances are there's going to be at least one person, there's always one, who's going to ignore the safety video. And oh boy. Meh. Because the big difference between with the buildings now is that it's now standing room only. So, back, obviously, our animation was just sitting. Yeah. This is now standing room only, which obviously helps to get more guests in, given the popularity of Frozen. Yeah. But of course, that just leaves the opportunity room for guests to think they can do whatever the hell they like, and you can't. Yeah. In the safety video, they talk about how oh, we must not do this, must not do that. Um, and one of the big, big rules of the safety video, I thought this is definitely going to get ignored, is, child is you should not have children being. Um, on people, on your parent, on adults' backs. That was ignored. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's a structure to be. I know! Exactly! You just got. It's ridiculous. But yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the creation is, is now useful. It's best for the safety of the before people just ignore it because they think, oh, it doesn't need. It doesn't matter apply to us. Well, it does! Yeah. And then you go through to the first building. And, oh, God. <laughs> what I love is how the moment you walk through the room, he's just there, and it's like, up and back. And the the light the of it is so uncanny. I mean, it's just absolutely brilliant. Look at it! We look, look at it! Look at it! <laughs> we've, we've now got, uh, looking at images on our, on our laptop. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Actually, let me see a clearer one. <laughs> there you go. Look at him! Oh my god! <laughs> Spin! <laughs> and I literally, the moment I went, we went, went to the room, I was like, oh my god! I was like freaking out. Because it was, he was there. Yeah, he, he was Spin. That likeness was, is so uncanny. It perfectly catches the likes of Spin. It was just brilliant. You, you, you literally, literally, if I was, if I was one of these four or five year olds, I would literally would have to be hold back from trying to get up to them. <laughs> yeah. It's just so lovely, and it's lovely because it's, cause usually it's the first thing you see when you walk through. It's brilliant. That just captures your attention straight away. And um, well, I just can't stop not wanting to pay attention to Spen. <laughs> Does he make it to the second? No, oh, he doesn't make it to the second room. But I suppose you do get Olaf. Yeah. So with both rooms, you get to have opportunity to have one of the big stars. Yeah. Well, it's probably not. Well, it probably isn't big for both of them. Well, Olaf doesn't actually appear in person. Oh no! Oh, no, we get to the second room. Olaf does not appear in person. Person. Um. So yeah. So I love that. I just love. I love the detail that that's captured really with the first two. It's meant look like the bar that like Christoph splits in during the film. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's all lovely. I love the spell. <laughs> Can I just ask you, when you watched it for the first time, how much were you paying attention to Anna and Christoph? Be honest. I'm trying to be honest. Not much. <laughs> Come on, I was just both focused on Spen. I was just too focused on him. It was like, oh my god, I can't get Spen! <laughs> Love you. Love you, Spen. <laughs> so yeah, so I was kind of like trying to do like one eye looking looking forward, one eye focused on the corner, but then where like, Spen is. It was a bit like I was basically for this first first row. I was basically cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So yeah, so basically the first person sets the sorry, so let's go away from spare if we can. No, you can't no I can't, I can't. I'm trying to try a bloody kid. Oh okay. This is good warning though for the watch party at the moment. It's good warning, because we're serious bed because I'm gonna be like a hysterical kid and you'll be on your own. <laughs> right. So the main focus basically the first one is basically to set the scene up. It's this classic old story with Frozen shows and Disney Parks. We're gonna do a surprise for Elsa. Yeah. And that is you learn to do the actions from let it go. Yeah, because there are actions. Mm -hmm. There are actions to let it, to let it go. So basically that's what um Anna spends the first in the first room doing, basically teach you the actions. Do I demonstrate? Okay, okay. Mouth to it. So, right, let's see if I can do it from memory. Okay. Um. So it's. So there. Alright. Okay. And then it. And then it. I'm not sure I've done that properly. Uh, but that's what I can remember from memory. Uh, I don't think I did it correctly, but um, <laughs> but yeah. But basically, but I thought, right, uh, okay. So this here I could do. So that's I don't know if that was me doing it right, but that's what I can remember from the top of my head. So yeah, because there are actions let go. That's what I'll teach you in the first room. Room. Yeah. Then the second room. We've got to say bye bye, Spen. Oh, bye, Spen. Now, the problem with the second room is, is it doesn't really give you enough time to move in into the next room. Yeah, because you've got, because obviously we're standing, because obviously with it being standing room, there's so many um, guests in. You need time to, between both seat, both seat rooms to, to get more of them. No, but by the time, you, by the time you're doing the, um, you get, the second room starts whilst people are still coming in. Alright, uh, that's just near. So the second room, oh that's not really. Well, the second room, oh that's there, but he's not there. He's not there as it as in the um, meet and greet form you'd expect to have. Have he's there as a uh, projection, and it'd be quite hard to make out when we get to the um, get to the watch party uh, at the moment. But yeah, so yeah. So that was a bit of a shame because Olaf, you got spend there. Mm -hmm. You got spend there, and unfortunately we couldn't get Olaf properly there. If you get the drift, yeah. So he's there. So oh, that's basically. So oh, I mean, Olaf is in the show, but he's there as a projection. But it would be just so much better if he was actually presently there. And again, just like how much for the first one, I love the diesel went into the scene to scenery. The second one, I love even more because I just feel like I'm transported into Elsa's ice palace. I actually feel like I'm actually there. Okay, I just felt I just felt I was actually there, and um, of course got my two faves, personal faves after. Uh, um, Sadly, we couldn't get all three. Sorry, Spen. I know. <sighs> Poor Spen. He's left all alone in that first room. I know. It's like, come back. So, yes, but... Why don't you are you, are you three faves are there? Well, yeah. Olaf. Although he's not technically because he's the first rejection. And obviously you get Elsa, right? Which is brilliant. Uh, which is brilliant. I love when Elsa comes in. Yeah, and it's all fun. So, and then, of course, and then they do do the whole routine. Are we also a little bit of a, a, a rework of the Love is an Open Door? Yeah, which is actually quite interesting. Yeah. It makes it, I think it makes it less less creepy, less cringy. Yeah, because Love is Open Door is quite a cringy song. Oh, what does that doesn't mean? Exactly, but they rework it for this, for this show. It works a lot better, which is absolutely um, brilliant. 
Um, yeah, so I think this second, the second, the second room is absolutely gorgeous because obviously I just feel like I'm transported into Elsa's ice palace, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and obviously we get to have Elsa herself, which is even more brilliant. I just would have loved if Olaf was there as well. Well, speaking of Olaf. Yeah, can you explain to me how people can meet Olaf? You have to down um, you have to download um, an app on your phone. Oh no! Yeah, and you have to find time slots and box them in, and that's how you meet characters now. Seriously, yeah. So it's not just for this show; it's pretty much for the whole park. There's that. What's the, what's the app called? Um, Lime Bertie. Go to look it up. Is that all one word? Yeah. That's all one word. So. Yeah, so Lime. It's Lime Bertie. So it's an app that you have to download on your phone and you use that to find times where characters are going to um, meet and greet and you book in a slot and it means you get it's just to go and meet that character. And this is how you now meet and greet characters in the park. Yeah. I'm not sure I feel about that. That might be something to do for the pinging page. Like, mm, mm, but the, so gone. So gone are the days where you basically just get in the queue and and and, and see who get lucky or not. Yeah. Ugh. I know. Um, yeah. So that's how you meet to meet our love at, at the end of the show. So you can't just simply go for the line you've got. Basically, use line Bertie. Yeah. Well, basically, then you that then that means you'd have to. Potentially, you have to go in without seeing the show. Well, you can't obviously uh, enter through the exit because it's not really an exit. But oh dear, yeah. dear oh dear oh dear. Yeah, but yeah. So, yeah, but I just absolutely loved this show. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I just obviously loved everything, anything to do with Frozen. Um. I loved how we got to see all our favourite characters, especially Spen. Mm -hmm. Spen's not actually treated that well when it comes to incorporating him in things like Disney on Ice and that. Yeah. No. Um, so, well done to them for actually putting in the effort to, to actually include Spen and actually make me feel that is Spen. I mean, that lightness is uncanny. <laughs> I wonder if we... I wonder if we could put him in the back garden. <laughs> I actually would have because have him as in the back garden. <laughs> so that's lovely. So yeah, so I love so I love how you got all your favourites in this, including Spen. And you actually feel like your favourites are there. Well I'd love to actually just gone and put a laugh. Actually, there not having as a protection, but there again, would the stay be able to cater all four? I think it could, but yeah, no. And the detail that goes in is absolutely stunning. It is absolutely stunning, and brilliant. Brilliant. The detail is absolutely gorgeous. There's one of a few little things needed to deal with, like obviously enforcing the safety measures, and obviously guest control. Yeah, but apart from that. It's an absolute gorgeous and stunning show, which I think should be a staple for years and years and years to come. And even when Frozen Land comes, pump its own theatre. Ah, so you want to build? Yeah, what I would want for Frozen Land is, is I want to build a theatre that could house this show. Then that way, it can feel like a permanent show, and then you can do whatever you like in our major celebration. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that could work, that could, that could maybe work, right, but, uh, but, 
Now, of course, it is actually starting up again as we are as we are recording this video. Yeah, mm -hmm. in April twenty twenty two. Yeah, yes, it is. It's back up and running again now, which is good. <laughs> Amazing, but. As I said, all the way through the pandemic, I still thank my lucky stars that I was able to attend this before basically all hell broke loose. Mm -hmm. um, but if you did have the opportunity to go and do the selfie spot, would you have done it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and you would have to drag me away from Spen. <laughs> Like, no. <laughs> I'm like, get it, get it, get it, get me, got it. And then, yeah, would be just like, yeah. You would not be able to control it, so you're like, I'm not in bed! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I absolutely loved it, and I just still can't believe it. The lot, because we were planning. Obviously, 2019, we knew Tranter was going to go. Yep. So, you wanted to get one last trip in featuring Tranter. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And I couldn't really do anything until roughly September time because I was busy, yeah, throughout the whole of March. From, from March to basically up to July, I was basically busy. Yeah. So, I couldn't do do anything there so I thought well the next free time I've got is basically autumn so let's see we've not and we've not done it during the Christmas season for a while so let's do that and, and then literally so we booked it right about July time of 2019 and literally the week uh, are we kid you not now the week after we booked the trip it's all sorted right we're gonna be going in that week in the, November, November 2019 literally the week after we booked it we got the news that we had the date for when this was going to open. I was like, oh, I can't. <laughs> can you believe it? Cannot believe it. Yeah, because I was like, oh my god. But there was a downside though, because it opened on November the seventeenth, and we were and you were leaving the eighteenth. Yes. It was. It was. Well, yeah. It was a weekend. Yeah, it's a long. It had. It was a long weekend because weekdays in the autumn going to those parties is no go because the park closes around about seven or eight pm. So you, yeah, yeah. um, yeah. So it was a long weekend. So I was there fifth, the fifteenth, which was the Friday, all the way. I was flying back on the eighteenth, which was Monday. So I only got two. So I knew we were going. We were, going, we were there. We were, we were. We were going to have two days to do it, but. It was better than missing out completely, yeah. Which were which would have happened if we didn't do it at all, man. Yeah. But yeah, so, so yeah, like so, so that is a true story. I kid you not. That is how it happened. And we were just like, oh I could not believe my lucky stars, and I am still thankful to them to this day that I was able to go and see it. It's over weekend because it was just absolutely stunning. Right, I am ready. To go to the watch party. I'm so excited. Oh, well, it'd be interesting to see what kind of watch party this is. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not going to commentate much. You'll be on your own. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>